Hey guys, uh, welcome. This is a special video I'm doing for um, uh, the release of my book, The Gentleman's Guide to Online Dating. Um, I'm going to go over a couple things today that you guys can do uh, to your profile, to your online dating profile, that will get results tonight. So three things you can do tonight um, to edit your profile to make it work a little bit better. Alright, so uh, the first one is pictures. Uh, this is the first thing people see when they see your profile. It's your literally your first impression with an online dating site. So you want to make that uh, first impression good. Um, so when it comes to any of your pictures, there's a couple things. First of all, um, a lot of dating sites are different in terms of how they use the pictures, how many pictures you can use, and that sort of thing. But the one thing they all tend to have in common is that there's one main sort of profile picture, which is usually the picture that people see when they're perusing profiles. Um, this is obviously, obviously the most important picture, so it's the one you want to spend the most time uh, thinking about. So when it comes to your profile picture, there's a couple things you can do to make it stand out from the rest. Okay? So first of all, you want it to be a picture of you. Usually I'd say just yourself. And if it's more people in the frame or whatever, try to make it so the focus is on you. So the people perusing will know that it's actually you and not um, someone else in the picture. Um, the other thing you can do is you can actually use, and this may be something you guys can do in the future, um, but if you, already, if you already have pictures like this, it uh, works really well. Um, make sure that you're wearing like your best stuff that you think the best represents who you are, your personality, so your best clothes, uh, your hair looks nice, you have a nice smile on your face. A um, couple other things you can do that are a little bit, little bit uh, tricky. Um, we have a friend that has like the, usually everyone has like the buddy that paid the extra couple hundred dollars for the pro camera with like the detachable lens and all that sort of stuff. Uh, make friends with that guy because those pictures when they use uh, those sort of lenses and stuff can make you look a lot more attractive. There's this thing called shallow focus, which is used in film and photography, where basically um, it's a very, uh, so the way you do it, if you had a camera and you stood away from the camera, you kind of zoom in all the way with your camera um, so that, I usually say it's a medium shot, so a medium shot would be something like your, your chest up to the top of your head. Um, that would be in focus, and then everything else behind you would be out of focus. It flattens your features, actually makes you more attractive. In fact, there's a lot of celebrities and stuff that, um, Make sure to always use this, use shallow focuses because it makes them look more attractive. If you have like a really long nose, it makes it look shorter. It just really makes your face look better. So if you have a buddy with that, with that camera, make friends with him. Get some pictures like that. Uh, if not, you may want to invest in one yourself. And um, you can even still get actually a, a similar sort of effect with even a lot of the medium range or intro level cameras that are coming out now because the technology is getting so much better. So that's one thing you can do. Another thing you can do is don't look at the camera. This kind of sounds a little bit weird, but they actually did a study and they found out that uh, women, when they're perusing profiles online, will actually more likely choose a guy that's not looking at the camera than a guy who is. I don't really know the psychology behind it. I'm imagining it's something to do with making you look needy or something if you're looking at the camera, uh, but it does work and it has been tested, so that's something to think about. Um, what else? Your pictures. Okay, so that's your main profile picture, right? The other pictures should paint a picture of your life, right? And obviously a good picture. Try to have pictures, like don't have all pictures where you're alone in all of them. That's a big mistake a lot of guys make. They're just alone in all the pictures. All that says is that you probably have no friends, uh, which is, of course, you don't want to communicate that. Uh, so try to have pictures where you're um, not only with other people, but also maybe the center of attention, right? So maybe you're telling a joke and everyone else around you is laughing. Or um, you can have pictures where girls are flirting with you, right? So maybe they're touching you or laughing at something you said or being kind of a flirty body language with you, but just don't have pictures where you're, ble you're being flirty with the girls. It seems like a small thing, but it actually makes a huge difference because if you have pictures where you're all over girls in the, in the, on your online dating profile, all that really says is that either A, you're a horn dog, or B, you felt the need to include those pictures, and all that really says is that you probably are overcompensating, which means you probably don't have situations like that happen very often, and you felt the need to, to show that, as if to say, look, I can get girls too, which girls are you know, more clever than you think. They'll look into that and know exactly what you were doing. So don't do that. But if you're actually, if the girls are floating with you, that's great. I'd actually stage photos sometimes when I'm with friends. I started bringing my camera out, and what I do is I say, I hand the camera up to someone else, and I say, hey, let's get a picture of us together, but let's not make it seem like we're posing. Let's just make it seem like we're in the middle of a conversation. So what happened was someone would take the picture, and we'd all act like we're mid-conversation, but what I would do is I would make it seem like I'm telling a joke or a story. So when the picture came out, it looked like everyone's laughing and having fun, and I'm the one who's sort of telling a story and was responding to that. A little bit tricky, but it can work well if you get one of those pictures. Um, 
Your other pictures should, like I said, say something about you, right? So maybe if you if you travel a lot, maybe part of your job, if you have an interesting job, you're proud of, you can do that. Hobbies work, work really good, you know? So if you take like, you know, horseback riding or sword fighting like I'm taking, uh, you can include pictures of those to sort of show a little bit about your personality. Um, all those things work great. Like I said, it should paint a picture of your life. When the girls look at these photos, she should think, wow, this guy's really interesting, he does all these interesting things, or I can see myself being with this guy doing these things, or you know, being a part of his life, that's right. All right, so that's the first thing, pictures. The second thing is your profile. Um, the biggest thing about your profile, and when I say profile, I mean like all dating sites have a little section. It's basically, sometimes it's called about me, or they ask you questions in order to get this sort of information about yourself out onto the, onto the profile. Um, the biggest mistake that guys make is that it's boring, right? And the way that usually comes about is that they take it really seriously. So they say the serious things about themselves in terms of, you know, I'm just on this dating site because I'd like to meet a girl like this, I want a girl like that, and you know, I'm like this, I, you know, I live here, and these are the things I do, it's my job, my friends are really important, this is what I like doing in my free time. And it's like, it's true, and it's, you know, you know, at least they're being honest, but the thing is, it's really fucking boring. And when they're going to read that, and you, even if, you know, you're an attractive guy, you've got great pictures, what you're saying in your profile is, I guess, you know, good in the sense that you have a good job and lots of friends and a, and a, and a cool life, um, she probably still won't message you just because you don't give an emotional reaction. And that's sort of the biggest thing when it comes to your profile. You have to evoke an emotional reaction out of her. She has to read the profile, get a reaction from it, be like, oh my god, that's so crazy that he said this, or that he's like that, or that, um, you know, he's like this, that now I need to message him based on that, right? So. The way that I do it, you can do it a number of different ways. There are literally thousands of ways you can write a profile. But the, one, the ways that I find the most effective is using humor, usually. And the way that I do that is that I try to give off the impression that I'm not taking the dating site seriously. Because what does it really say if you write your profile very seriously? What does it really say about you as a guy if you had to resort to doing that? It usually means that you have trouble meeting girls in real life. The fact that you have to take a dating site seriously means you don't have options outside of that. And that's not really something you want to communicate, right? So it's better, you're better off usually taking the um, attitude of, I don't need to use this dating site, I don't need it whatsoever, but I'm just doing it because it's funny, or to fuck with people, or for my own you know, self-amusement, right? So that's the way that I kind of take it. I think that's the best way to do it. You can do it other ways, but this is usually the way that gets the, most, you know, the best reactions. So within that, um, in my profile, in the book I give, there's, I go over my whole profile in the book, but basically what it comes down to is I do say things about myself that are serious and true, but they're all wrapped in this sort of um, guise of the fact that I'm not taking any of this seriously. So, you know, there's very cocky comments on there, there's funny things. I give some uh, future adventure projections, uh, which uh, I didn't actually interview series of 10 Magnet about why, way back, uh, if you're interested in those. Um, those things all work really well. What I will tell you is for your profile, what you want to do is have these little snippets that give an emotional reaction. So things you can do, for instance, are I like to give off or uh, describe an adventure that I would do, right? And usually the best way to think about this is if you had all the money in the world, like let's say you just had millions upon millions of dollars, uh, hypothetically, what would you be doing with your life? The answer to that question can be something that you can put in your profile, right? You could, just be something, you could say something like, well, you know what? Uh, this is me, whatever, but what I really want to do is this and maybe describe that, you know, what you would do if you had all that money. Um, those work really well. I'll do, yeah, future adventure projections, I'll say, or not even those, just like, um, like for instance in mine I say, uh, you know, what I really want to do is I want to uh, buy a tropical island and build a tree house and live on it and have monkey butlers, right? Or I'm going to buy a boat and uh, sail around uh, the Caribbean uh, making my own rum and bootlegging it. Right? So just little things like that, when a girl reads that, she can be like, oh my god, that's hilarious, that would be so much fun. Even though they can tell I'm probably not taking that seriously, right? I'm not saying that is what I actually do it. Those little things can be good. Other things, um, interest and stuff can work sometimes. I know a lot of sites use those as either keywords or things you can put into questions in terms of favorite movies, you know, books, bands, things like that. Those sometimes can evoke enough an emotional reaction depending on the girl to get a response. So, you know, putting down, you know, oh my god, I love, you know, Led Zeppelin, or, you know, Thin Lizzy, or anything else that you like, books or movies, or what have you. Um, those sometimes can get an emotional reaction, but not necessarily. So, uh, I would actually try to focus on comedy, and bringing forth some humor into your, into your profile. Remember, don't take it too seriously. Alright guys, the last tip I'm going to give you is about messages, in terms of the messages you send to women. So, in my book I go over how to 
basically create a profile that should um, and make women message you. Like I say at the beginning of my book that um, you know my profile in its current state was getting about two messages a day from girls. I didn't message them, they messaged me based on my profile. But that's not always going to be the case in terms of you see a really gorgeous girl on the dating site, you can't just hope that she messages you, she probably won't. So uh, messaging becomes pretty important. So what you send as a message um, can make or break if you know your profile and as well as if she wants to message you back, right? So one of the biggest mistakes that guys make when it comes to messages, and it's kind of similar with their profile, is they take it seriously, right? So they'll say, they'll actually do a couple of things. One is they'll just say some short little message like, hey, you know, you're cool, what's up, something like that, which can work if you have a really good profile and she doesn't get you know a million messages a day, she may you know bite on that. Um, or they'll uh, they'll milk a, a, a something you get like a commonality, right? So let's say you saw a girl who on her profile said she really liked you know a movie they really like, and so you send her a message saying, oh my god, I love that movie too, that's so awesome. Oh my god, you're living you know you live in Vancouver too. Uh, where do you hang out? Something like that, right? Not very good. Um, the thing is, if you are gonna, it's not to say you can't use commonality to start a message. By all means, you can do that. But you shouldn't just milk the commonality. What you should do is actually say something, make an observation based on that commonality about her, right? So, for instance, let's say, um, you know, uh, for, for me, for instance, I would always message girls that in the, in the profile in terms of where they were from, if they were originally from the same place that I was from, so the east coast of Canada, um, I would always you jump on that commonality because that's fairly easy, and I imagine you can use that anywhere, you, you know, anywhere in the world if they're from the same area. Uh, as you're from. So what I do is I'd say, oh man, you're from New Brunswick as well, wait, let me guess, you're from Fredericton. You have a Fredericton kind of vibe. Fredericton being a kind of like boring kind of city in, in the place where I'm from. So of course as soon as I say that, that evokes an emotional reaction. She's going to feel either the need to defend Fredericton or uh, tell me that she's not from Fredericton. She's not, right? So um, that works really well. But you can do that with anything. The music she listens to, uh, you know, the movies she, she, she likes. Um, even other things like her color of her hair, the way she dresses, or anything like that, you can use that to your advantage by right? making an observation based on that commonality. Not that she's you're going to make a commonality based on the way she dresses, hopefully, uh, with yourself. But um, you can use all those things as long as you make an observation about it. Personally, I find the best mes messages to send to girls are um, basically really crazy things that I envision doing that I'm inviting her along to do. Right, so for me, for instance, I'll, I'll give you guys two examples right now you can use tonight. Uh, one of them I, uh, I said quite a bit was, uh, hey, I was thinking of robbing a bank tonight and um, driving uh, down to the ocean, you know, fleeing from the cops, driving down the ocean, uh, f driving off a cliff and faking my own death. Are you in? P.S. Don't worry, we'll have scuba tanks in the trunk and uh, you should probably bring some snacks because we might get hungry. Just don't bring any egg salad sandwiches because those smell like farts. Gross. All right. So a girl reads that and she's like, what the hell is this guy talking about? We're going to go rob a bank and then drive into the ocean and fake around deaths? Obviously I'm joking here, but it should create enough of an emotional reaction for her to be like, oh my god, that's hilarious. I'm so in, I can, you know, I can try stick shift or whatever, you know. She'll usually play along with that, I guess, um, role play, right? Another one that I uh, used to use a lot um, is I'd say, uh, hey, you know what, I just saw this uh, pirate ship down to, I live in Vancouver, so it has this wharf, right? So if you guys live in a place that has, you know, the ocean next to it, or I guess a waterway, you can use this. I will say, hey, I just saw this really cool pirate ship in the harbor downtown. I'm totally stealing it tonight. Uh, I need your help, though. How good are you at picking locks? And also, can you drive a ship? So even something simple like that, you're like, oh my god, you know, or maybe, I'll even maybe some people add on to it, like we're gonna, what we'll do is we'll take it, we'll steal it, we'll sail down to uh, California and then drive to Vegas and rob a casino, something like that, right? Um, it's weird how uh, illegal activities can be factored into my uh, adventures a lot. Anyway, um, but you can say something like that. Now what usually happens is she'll play along with that role play for a couple messages, right? So she may say something like, oh my god, totally, I'm in, I can, you know, I'll bring my, um, my bolt cutters and it'll make it a lot easier, something like that. So what you, usually you can do is you can play along with this role play for about three or four messages, maybe two or three, um, and then at that point what you're going to do is you're going to say, you know what, in the message you're going to say, you know what, you're pretty cool, um, playing, inter or, sorry, playing email tag on an internet dating site is a pretty lame form of communication, uh, what's your number, I'll give you a call. You could say that. Sometimes I'll preface the call with saying something like, oh man, uh, the most hilarious thing just happened to me, I have to tell someone. Um, what's your number? I'll give you a call in 10 minutes. So 10 minutes is the question, right? Not can I have your number, but is 10 minutes a good time to call? So it says a little bit there, right? 
Um, so those, those work really well, and those are really easy ways to get a girl to respond back. Um, I actually set up fake profiles uh, as women and realized that girls get, at least attractive ones, get messaged sometimes over a hundred times a day, right? So you really have to make your message stand out. Just saying some blurb about who you are usually is not enough to get her attention. So uh, you want to, you know, uh, factor that into it. Anyway, guys, those are my three tips for tonight. Hopefully you guys got something out of this. And um, keep an eye out for my book coming out next week, uh, Gentleman's Guide to Online Dating. And, uh, yeah, let me know how, how you guys like it. All right, thanks a lot. Bye.